Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a very nice sounding element that I learned from listening to Bill Evans. And the best part is that it's very easy to apply. So the concept I'm going to show you now is highly useful. I picked it up from Bill Evans and it's a lovely trick that you can add both when you're playing accompaniment as well as you're playing piano solos. So the concept is very straightforward. Now you're playing triads with your right hand and then you're playing the chords with your left hand. I'm going to show you. So the first chord we're gonna have a look at is uh, the major seven. So now let's play a G major seven. And then with your right hand, you're playing a D chord. So now you're playing chords moving within the D scale. And the D scale is of course up a fifth from the G, right? So now you play. And then you move the triads in root position like this within the D scale. while you play the chord with your left hand. Let me put on some uh, playback and uh, we'll try it out. So that's how you do it when you play on a major chord, but uh, now let's try with a minor chord and uh, let's do uh, G minor seven. So now you play uh, the F scale or chords within the F scale. So think G down a whole step and then you play the chords within that scale. Together with the play along track. I think it sounds nice, but uh, there is one more chord we need to speak about, and that is uh, the G7. And by the way, uh, what I suggest that you do is uh, that you uh, download my play along track, and uh, I made it so that you can try this out in any key. But now let's have a look at the dominant seventh chord. So when you play the dominant seventh chord, what you do is to play up a fourth. So in this case, for example, uh, a G7 would be up a fourth, right? From G to C. So now you play the C scale and the chords within the C scale. And that would be of course like this. No black keys, so that should be fairly easy to do. So let's try that with the accompaniment. So that sounds nice, right? And uh, it's fairly easy to play as well. Uh, of course, it's a lot harder when you combine it in a tune, but I'm gonna show you that soon. The next thing I wanna speak about is uh, how to improvise while you play like this. When I'm speaking about playing a solo, once you know this trick, there are so many more things that you can do. For example, you can break down these chords. And that is fairly easy to play, or the other way around. which is a little bit harder, but uh, I'm sure that you can manage to do that if you practice. Now, I have uh, written an exercise tune for you to play, and uh, this one goes through all of the different minor chords throughout the circle of fifths. So uh, let me play that for you and uh, see how I can apply these chords. But uh, of course, you don't want to play these chords all the time. You should combine it with other stuff. Let's have a look.
That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share. That will help me a lot. Also, if you want a more in-depth training from me, check out the Jazz Piano Step-by-Step -step course. There's a link in the description. Then you can test out the course for 14 days for free. Also, make sure that you grab the exercises that I used in this video. And uh, if you like this way of playing, consider watching this video next. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.